Hey guys, today I have some good news to report about the Comlight ENF E1 Pro Nikon to Sony autofocus adapter. I've been testing the adapter with a few different Nikon AFS lenses. And as I've reported before, when it works, it works pretty well in providing autofocus performance with Sony bodies using these Nikon AFS lenses. And I have here the Nikkor 300 millimeter F4 prime lens, a wonderful telephoto prime lens from Nikon, which is a little bit dated in design. It's a very sharp lens with beautiful bokeh, but it lacks any kind of vibration reduction or optical image stabilization in the lens. So that's what makes this particular pairing very interesting. I'm happy to report that the Comlight adapter works very well with this 300 millimeter F4. And I'm gonna hold up the body here so maybe you can take a look. I have here my Sony Alpha 7 II attached to the adapter and I'm using a teleconverter. Uh, in this little setup here. So this is actually the TC14E2. <laughs> so it's a 1.4 teleconverter, and then I have my 300 millimeter F4. So I'm actually getting about uh, 420 millimeters <laughs> out of this entire setup. Uh, but I've been very pleased with the way the autofocus is performing with my a7 II and this prime lens. And you know, this is an example uh, where you're kind of getting more <laughs> with the Sony body than you would with an Nikon body because the Sony body has in-body image stabilization. So I'm able to shoot with this 300 millimeter f4 prime uh, stabilized because I'm getting stabilization on the sensor. Now you have to dial in the stabilization manually. In other words, set the appropriate focal length. And the one catch when you're using teleconverter is that the a7 II firmware only allows you to choose from like uh, 400 millimeter or 450 millimeter. This is 420 millimeter equivalent. So I guess you just got to pick one 400 or 450. And if you're shooting without the teleconverter, of course, you can dial in 300 millimeters as the correct focal length on your a7 II. And even though the Alpha 6500 is not listed as a supported camera just yet, it does seem to work with the com light. And so <laughs> I've actually put my 200 to 500 millimeter Nikon, attached it to the teleconverter, and then attach that to my crop sensor body, the Alpha 6500, and I'm getting an equivalent of around 1,050 millimeter field of view. <laughs> so really uh, quite a dramatic uh, telephoto setup. Now, when you attach these teleconverters to these lenses, and this would be true if I was using a Nikon body, your autofocus performance kind of takes a hit it's not gonna perform quite as well with the teleconverter attached and you're also losing some light so this 300 millimeter f4 becomes a 420 millimeter f5.6 and with my 200 500 millimeter lens it will become uh what 700 uh, millimeter f8 okay so uh, the use of teleconverters does not come without some cost Good news about the Comlight. I'm feeling better about this purchase now that I've got a few lenses that I know it will work well with. For some reason, it doesn't work well at all with uh, my 85 millimeter f1.8. I wouldn't recommend that combination to anyone. So this adapter is still very much a work in progress. You know, one of my viewers here suggested that Comlight um, maybe make this firmware open source. And I think that would be a brilliant move from Comlight. Make this firmware open source, put it out there in the world so people can take it and tweak it and refine it with their Nikkor lenses. It's probably a way for you to harness the strength of the internet community 
and really boost sales of your product because I would be much more likely to recommend this product if I knew with confidence that it would work with a lot of different AFS lenses. And this is significant also because if you're a Sony shooter and you want to purchase a native E-mount uh, prime lens, that's a telephoto prime lens, right now you got nothing. Okay, there, there's really nothing to choose from. There is no native E-mount telephoto prime lens as of the recording of this video. Yes, there are zoom lenses. You can get a 100 to 400 variable aperture lens or a 70 to 300 variable aperture. But you want a telephoto prime, you're gonna have to use an adapter anyway. And in my case, I already had this telephoto prime sitting in my closet and it was just waiting to be used with my Sony bodies. So it really can breathe new life into some of these lenses. One of the big drawbacks of the old 300 millimeter F4 is the lack of VR, and now that has been solved by pairing it with a Sony body. I just wanted to let you guys know, any of you with Nikon AFS lenses, there is a decent chance that the Comlight adapter is gonna work with your lens. This lens is listed on the Comlight website as one of the supported lenses. You can pick up these 300 millimeter F4 Nikors these days, I'm told in the 650 to $700 range used, and that's a brilliant deal. And I love mine, but it had sort of fallen out of favor of using it because of the lack of VR and had begun to favor my 200 to 500 millimeter a little bit more. But I think I will be using it more often because of this Comlight adapter. So the Comlight adapter was worthwhile purchase for me in that respect. So that's it guys, just a quick update about the successful pairing. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more about the Comlight adapter, there will be a link in the YouTube description for this video. Until next time, lo lo ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.